Greetings and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today's game is a true classic, Future Cop LAPD. First released all the way back in that glorious year of 1998, and a spiritual successor to the legendary Strike franchise, Future Cop LAPD takes us to a fictional setting in the far future where flamethrowers are now considered less lethal munitions by the law enforcement, and where the LAPD is more militarized than the actual military. Yes, really, it's even explicitly stated in the comics. And not content to be just an incredibly based game, Future Cop LAPD is also a rather revolutionary title as well, as its multiplayer mode is arguably the first MOBA ever created. So there's plenty good to say about Future Cop LAPD, which is why it is so unfortunate that the game doesn't really like to run right out of the box. But of course, we are here to fix that today. Before we get started, it is worth mentioning that I am testing these fixes out using a physical copy of the game, as there is no official digital release, at least on PC. It is also worth noting that the machine that I'm testing these fixes out on is a Windows 10 64-bit with 48GB of DDR4 RAM, an i7-6700K processor, and an NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti. And with all of this said, let's dive in. The first turtle you're going to face is actually installing the game. This is because it comes with a 16-bit installer. To get around this issue, simply download this installer and use it to install the game. Make sure to install the DirectX version of the game specifically. Once that's done, the next step is to download and install DirectX 9.0c. This is a fairly common step for vintage games in general, and it's very likely that you've already completed the step if you play vintage video games. Once that's done though, the next step is to download and extract DG Voodoo 2, after which you'll then want to get into the DG Voodoo 2 directory, and then into the MS folder, and then the x86 folder, and copy the files shown here, and paste them into the game's directory. After that, that, open up DG Voodoo 2 and configure as shown here. Take special care to ensure that the two behavior options under the DirectX tab are unchecked. Once that's done, right click on fcoplapd.exe and select properties. From there, go to the compatibility tab and configure as shown here. Congratulations, if you have done everything correctly, then your copy of Future Cop LAPD will be fully playable and in a modern resolution to boot. I hope you have found this guide to be useful and I hope to be back again soon with another one. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Destroyed. Blue base turret destroyed. 